Hi, welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Johnny's Selected Seeds. This is just one of several orders that we've placed for seeds for this season. I already did an unboxing video of some of the seeds that we placed for cut flowers from Florette. Uh, we also placed a pretty substantial order through Geo Seeds, which is where we got most of our seeds from. And we will be doing an unboxing video later when those arrive. Most of what we have in this box is vegetable seeds that we will be growing produce to sell at the farmer's market. We also are planning on doing a seedling sale later this spring, and we will be taking online orders through our Facebook page. So please keep an eye out for that. If you haven't already, please follow us on Facebook. We also have some cut flower seeds in here from some of the varieties that we didn't get through the other retailers. All right, so let's dig in. I'm gonna try not to lose any fingers in the process. I started out with 10 and I would like to keep 10. So this is our first order that we have received through Johnny's. We read a lot of reviews and they get great reviews. They have impeccable customer service and their website is loaded full of tips and tricks and Excel spreadsheets that talk about planting and seed quantities and yields and all of that. It's very gardener friendly. You are not required to have a business to order through Johnny's. You can buy just regular as well. They have a huge variety of sizes. They're pack sizes, as you will see. We've got normal standard size packs as well as bigger grower size packs. We have some of both, some of them so that we can just see um, how some of these varieties grow. So we have the smaller packs. And as you can see, I spent a lot of time ordering seeds, even bigger packs. All right, so we're gonna start with the vegetable varieties. We got a couple different varieties of peas slash beans. We got some bush beans that we can sell uh, where you eat the entire pod and beans. And then we got some shelling peas. And then we're gonna jump into some squash varieties. We got several squash varieties. It's one of our favorite things to grow and eat. Um, we decided that we would sell some pumpkins this year, which is pretty exciting. We got a couple varieties of pumpkin that we will be doing that are supposed to be good jack-o'-lantern varieties. We have a rock star and a rival. One of the things that I want to mention about Johnny Seeds is that they do a great job of having either certified organic or disease resistant varieties, which is really nice, especially when you're growing here in the South. In the summer, it tends to get really hot and humid, and that can cause some different disease issues like mold and powdery mildew and fungal things. We also have some yellow summer squash, some raven zucchini, some patty pan summer squash, which are a bright yellow patty pan, and they're really pretty. I can't wait to see what those look like. We got some butterscotch butternut winter squash and some spaghetti winter squash as well. And then we have a couple of our salad mixes that we're gonna be doing. I got um, two packs of the Calibration kale mix. I'm thinking that people are going to like the kale mix as a salad blend, so we got those. We'll have some other varieties of lettuce that we'll be selling as well, but these are the salad mix that we got. And then this giant pack that we have here is spinach. Um, we got this giant pack because it was on sale, and this pack of 5,000 seeds cost us $4.79, which you cannot beat. So we'll have tons of baby spinach to sell to our customers. And then we have a poblano pepper variety that we got. It's called Baron. And we're gonna try growing a couple varieties of onion from seeds. Um, this is gonna be my first time doing onions from seeds. So we'll see how that turns out and we'll let you know. We have a red onion variety as well as a sweet yellow onion. 
We got some lemongrass, because who doesn't love lemongrass? We'll see how that grows as well. We decided to grow several heirloom varieties of tomatoes because they have the most flavor. We got a black creme, which is a black purpley colored tomato, a yellow brandy wine, Galahad, a clementine, a Martha Washington, a sun peach, which is a variety of a sweet cherry tomato. And then we also got some tomatillo tomatoes to grow, which is a super verde. We ordered some cat mint, which not only drives the cats crazy, but it's also a great foliage to add to cut flower bouquets. We ordered some cumin. We also ordered a shiso variety, and this is kind of a purple color, and we'll use this to sell as produce as well as foliage in bouquets. We also ordered some flower varieties from Johnny's. We got more dahlia seeds, because you can never have enough dahlias. We got some aster seeds. A all white variety of Cosmos is called Afternoon White. We ordered a red variety of amaranth. It's called Love Lies Bleeding. Ordered more Persian Crest. This is a different variety of Crest than what we got from Florette. We ordered some purple verbena. Bells of Ireland, which is one of the most popular and most sought after foliage for cut flower bouquets. We also got um, Sorenth. It's the kiwi blue variety. It's another popular foliage for cut flower bouquets. I just wanna say thanks to Johnny Selected Seeds for packing our order so nicely and getting it out to us so quickly. Um, as you can see, we got plenty of varieties and lots of work to get us started for this season. We recently set up an indoor growing system so that we could get our seeds started. We posted a short clip of that in a recent vlog, so you can look for that. Watch for a future video where we will show you the setup process of that as well as seeds from start to transplant seedlings. We'll let you know about the germination rates and how successful our seeds are that we purchased from Johnny's. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. Comment below if you have any suggestions on things you would like to see us grow, or if you've grown any of these varieties, let us know what you think of them, how they taste, if they're good, if they're not so great. Also look for our seedling sale. If you want to purchase seedlings from any of these varieties, let us know and we will definitely get some started for you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.